Hello, and my name is Miss Taylor J, and welcome. My name is Miss Taylor Juggs, and the subject that I am talking with you today about is getting along with your lover. And I'm going to tell you some steps, and this is for men. I'm going to talk about men first, and then I'm going to talk about women. For men, the way that you get along with the woman is not just agreeing with her but with understanding her, understanding her needs, understanding her wants, understanding that she is a woman first before she is your mate. If she's a wife, then understanding that she's a wife and she has her duties. Um, your woman is going to be there for you and she's going to love you irregardless of, especially if she calls herself your woman and she really does love you. If she really loves you, she's going to be down for you. And you definitely have to take that into consideration. Some men cheat on their women out of spite because one thing is not going right or just being just stingy. You know, the woman is being stingy with sex or whatever. And I'm going to touch on that in a little bit. But then you have men that are just so scandalous who will mess around on their women because they're pregnant and they can't have sex for whatever reason. And I feel like if you love her, you will respect her. You will respect her as being your woman first. And not let people get in your ear about just different things in general. Okay, women. <sighs> women, I don't mean to say this, but sometimes you guys can be straight headaches. I know I've been a headache. Sometimes you can say things to make a nigga want to knock the fuck out of you. Excuse my French. But sometimes that can happen. And I'm not saying that that's what's supposed to happen. But as a woman, you are supposed to respect your man. There's certain things that you should not say to your men. Men are very simple creatures. They want to be fucked, fed, and they want you to just be there and be and be good listeners. That's it. They don't want very much from you. You know, if you keep yourself up like I do, that helps. But aside from looking sexy and all that, you can look sexy all day long, but be shitty and have a real shitty personality and a real shitty mindset about yourself. And you have to keep in mind that he's a man. You can't teach a man how to be a man. A man has to be a man on his own. And you have to realize that as a woman, you don't have balls and you don't have a dick. Even though you try to portray like you have balls and a dick, you really don't have one. You don't. So as a woman, sometimes you, you should submit. You should, you know, be there for your man. Not submit as far as like bowing down and be like, oh, yes, master, that type of thing. What I mean by submission is, I mean by, how can I put this without sounding just all on the man's side? Um... Submitting is to re being basically respectful to you and mindful of your man. And if he asks you to do something simple, you know, do something simple for him. Because, like I say in all my videos, what you won't do, the next woman will do. And you will have a cleanup woman that will come and sweep your man right from up under you and you will be very upset and you will be very mad that your man is with someone else when you could have done something to keep your man. Ladies, I want to say this to you. You guys are gorgeous figures. I don't care if you look like a boomasuma. I don't care if you look like a pig. I don't care if you look like a dog. You are beautiful in all ways possible and what I'm trying to say is, is that if you don't have confidence in yourself you're not going to have confidence in your relationship and that's something that you absolutely have to have is confidence also you have to have respect you have to have respect for yourself okay sure I wear lingerie 
and I show my cleavage, but I'm still a lady nonetheless. I won't be wearing this outside. <laughs> I won't be wearing this to the market, but for my mate and for my fans, I show them that I actually give a damn about what I look like. That helps a man too. What men like is for a woman to have confidence, for a woman to know her place as being a woman, to stand on her own two feet, and to do what she needs to do as a provider on her end. A relationship is 50-50. It's not 60-40. He does 60 and you do 40%. No, it's 50-50 straight down the line. That way, you guys can come together and make things work. And men, respect your woman. I know you might see these big old booties and you might see these big old titties that be walking down the street that you might want to hit, but you got to look down below at your zipper and you need to tell that thing to shut the hell up and mind his own business and wait till he get home to who he belongs to. And that's your woman. I want you to know that it's okay to, to look at other women. But you have to respect the woman that you have at home, especially if she has kids. If she has kids, respect your woman that she has kids. Don't go out there and sleep around and come back and bring her something and then you got kids and anything can happen. A woman can be uh, crazy. Um, what's that movie with Michael Douglas can be crazy just like that woman on there and you got kids and you putting your woman and your kids in jeopardy. Love your mate. That's all I'm saying. To end this conversation, I want to say that yesterday I've said some things to my, to my SO that was very wrong. And I want to apologize to him on national, on national TV. Basically letting him know that I apologize for the wrongs that I've said and the wrongs that I've done. And I know you'll forgive me because I will tear that ass up. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you for listening. I appreciate you coming by my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about me, you can check out my Twitter www.twitter.com slash Miss MS Mocha Baby. Check out and like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Miss Taylor Jugs, M I S S T A Y L O R. Also, if you would like to book me for shows, events, or anything, you can email me at three emails, MissTaylorJugs at Yahoo.com, LovelyLee1981 at Gmail.com, and TaylorJugsBooking at Gmail.com. I hope you enjoy what I've had to say today. Look for another show coming up soon. I'll talk to you again. Peace.